The shamanic journey sphere. What's that about? Taking a shamanic journey. The listing of stones in these, uh, uh, the stones within these spheres, uh, most of them, the most important ones, uh, are actually listed. We tell you what's in it. Uh, not all of what's in it. The uh, reason why, um, I'm not going to give you the whole recipe, but I'm, I'm going to give you the major ingredients in case you, you can't afford a sphere and you just want to get some stones. And then wrap them in a, <coughs> excuse me, pure copper sheet. Not some kind of thin paper with uh, even thinner uh, copper sheeting on it. Just solid copper. It helps the energy flow around. But the shamanic journey has got uh, turritello, it's got the uh, lapis in it. Um, I'm very careful about the um, the uh, selenite and stuff. Um, I put in it what I need for you to have to relax and to take a little trip. Um, the list we have for the shamanic journey. Star Asenite, Jade, Fluorite, Ammonite, um, Turritella, Golden Tiger's Eye, uh, some soft, very soft lapis. Lapis that's got a soft feeling to it, not much of it. We want to kind of awaken, uh, uh, act, softly motivate the pineal gland, but we don't want to put pre we don't want to build up too much pressure. Star essenite is very soft in there. The whole idea is to crank something up, not make it overpowering. If your head's going like that, you can't relax and go take a journey. Jade is very relaxing. Okay, uh, fluoride helps the energy move through. Uh, Anyways, uh, the celestite quartz, amethyst, pitcher jasper, and there's more. Uh, the selenite that I put in there, uh, it might not, not even be listed. Um, it, it's not. It is one of the things I put in there. Um, it's a different type and a different energy. Uh, again, everything I do, I understand frequencies of different stones on this planet and how they best work with you. Uh, to create the effect we're looking for it the, the important thing here is waking up a lot of people want to take a journey uh, They want to see things go somewhere You hold the sphere relax feel the energy and then I was debating telling you something and then boom the lights click um uh, You want to just relax the, This this sphere the energy of it you put your hands right about here and you just feel it um, You can put it in your lap and just hold your hands, put your hands like this on the arms of the chair and just relax. When you have your hands open, the energy can go in, uh, go in and out of your palms and fingertips like energy straws. So it just helps it flow, but you just, you have to relax your body. And then just as you feel yourself relaxing, this Turtella in here really helps you take a, um, take a trip. So you relax and then just think of some place you want to go, feel where you want to go and then just relax and it's 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 easy to say but harder to understand you have to let yourself go and just be there you have to relax and emanate part of your spirit from your body to go get it you can't ever leave your body you can never leave your body with it still being alive okay um there's been very few exceptions to that and that's only with people who have very negative spirit and uh, that the spirit has been removed before and there's people walking around that just have the spirit from the planet in them uh, not many and that's against new laws uh, so uh, that's nothing to be concerned about that was only done with a, a machine that was here that the Anunnaki used which they don't have access to but it doesn't matter it has to be allowed by spirit in the second dimension what's in charge and it's no longer allowed uh, Ouija boards have always been a uh, um, way for people to, uh, it's like a loophole for spirit on the other side, second dimension, the one right above us, to come in. Whatever was there came in, and the spirit guides, angels, nothing stopped it. It's just like, well, you opened up the Ouija board. They don't work like that anymore. You can now use them to talk to your spirit guides. That's due to error. Um, so anyway, uh, Things have changed on the other side, but the um, the shamanic journey sphere 
<clears throat> excuse me, is to help you relax, calm your mind down to where you need to be so that you can go out to go somewhere. You don't just put your hands there and poof, you're somewhere. But if you relax and open up and just say wherever I want to go, you will go somewhere you want to go. The hard part is relaxing. But anyway, that's the shamanic journey sphere.